Hey everybody, welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. And what are we going to make today? First though, if you could hit that subscribe button or give me a big thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. I'm a new channel and it really helps. Today, my challenge is to use these items that I found at the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Spot at Target to decorate my large tear tray that I keep on my dining room table. It's a three tier tray that I got at Target and I wanna do it with a beach coastal theme with lots of blues and lots of beachy items. So the first item that we're gonna work on is, are these shells. This is actually a shell bra that's for like with the grass skirts and stuff like that that they just came out with at our my Dollar Tree. I got it there today. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take the spackling from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna fill in the holes on the shells. They're made out of a lightweight white plastic mold and they have three holes in each one. So I am just going around and filling those in with spackling. All right, next step, I want to go in and try to distress the shelves because they're white plasticky, they don't look real. So I'm going in with some of this elephant um, chalk paint by Waverly that I got at Walmart. And I'm just kind of going all over, going down into the grooves of the shell and then going back over that with a baby wipe to try to wipe off some of the excess. I don't want it to be really gray, I just want it to show that pretty detail in the shell. So it'll look, you know, more realistic. When you find a shell on the beach, it's get, you're gonna have like those colors and all the grooves and it's gonna look better, look more real. So I'm just kind of going all over, get it how I like it. Some of my spackle fell out, so I kind of spackled it from the inside that seemed to work a little bit better because I wanna make sure that doesn't, those don't fall out. And I'm just going over it again with my baby wipe. And I really like how that turned out. Next step is I'm going to try to build a base for my shell. I'm using these Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to attach four of them together. And I'm just using hot glue. And it'll just be a little base so that the shell will stand up on my tear tray. Nothing fancy. My hot glue gun, I love it, but it releases a lot of hot glue. So I need to learn how to get that to stop doing that. Okay, so I'm going in with that same elephant chalk paint by Waverly and I'm just painting um, the base that color. That's kind of the same color as my steel tear, tear tray so that the base really won't stand out. It'll kind of match in with the tear tray. Then I'm gonna try to apply a thin bead of hot glue all the way around because I want to put the shell back together. And that is what I do. I get it on about half of it. I kind of have to go back in. And I'm just kind of working around, trying to line it up, get all the spots glued down good and tight. And it actually turned out pretty good. Okay, so I'm going in with my heat gun, just drying my paint on my base so that I can attach my shell. And I end up just attaching it with more hot glue. And it's done. Okay, next project. I got this anchor at the Dollar Tree in with their coastal decor. And it's cute and all, and it's really nice textured, but I didn't really like that color of blue. So I'm going in with some of this acrylic paint from Target. I think it's turquoise is the color. And I'm just going over with one coat because I kind of like the navy is kind of giving me a nice weathered look with all the grooves, kind of making it look like real wood. So I'm just kind of going all over, make sure I get at least one good coat on. And then I'm going to use my heat gun to give it a dry. I got this heat gun on Amazon. It was only like $10. 
and it is a game changer. It works so well to dry things. I, I used a hair dryer before, but I love this thing. I use it for everything. So then I'm like, oh, you can see the back of this tear tray. So I need to go in and paint the back as well. So I just do one coat of paint on the back, just in case you can see the back. And then I make sure I give it a good dry. I want to get it good and dry like in the, in the circle there at the top because I'm getting ready to reattach the rope that came with it. Just putting it back on, giving it a good tie, and it's done. Okay, next project. This project caused me lots of headaches. So I got this sign at Dollar Tree and I'm trying to make it into a box to hold my napkins for my tear tray. So I'm using these little wood panels that I got at the Dollar Tree. You get a whole bunch of them in a package. And I'm actually cutting them with just an X-Acto knife. I'm doing it on both sides and then bending it and it actually worked. And so I kind of did a, the original long piece for the back and then I cut out two sides and then I thought it was too tall. So I cut the relax off of the top of the sign with the same way with the X-Acto knife. So I'm gonna do my best to use hot glue to try to make a little box for the back of the sign. I tried to attach a crate from the Dollar Tree, but it was too big. So I had to kind of do my own custom design to get it to fit on my tear tray where I needed it to be. So I'm just attaching that to the front of the sign with hot glue. And it's not very square, but it's good enough. Then I decide that it needs a bottom, so I get another one of those panels out and I just hot glue that to the bottom. And then there is like a little um, ridge there at the bottom that's open. So I'm just gonna do a little base with these Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree, just to kind of finish that off and fill that in. And I attach that with hot glue as well. Okay, just testing to see if my napkins are gonna fit. And then I decide I want the box to be blue. So I'm going in with this acrylic paint. I think it was cornflower blue that I got at Target. And I kinda do the Jenga blocks and then I go in and I do this, just the top. I'm not gonna do inside the box and the sides. And then I do the back. And this is a really pretty color of blue. I wanted to mix a lot of like aquas and blues, colors that remind me of the ocean. There's so many different colors of blue in the ocean. So I'm just kind of going in with my little brush, doing the areas. Then I decide that I need to paint the back just in case you can see it from the other side. And kind of touching up the details and then I there's totally a challenge on this project because see I cut off the word relax at the top and then it's now it says the beach fix everything so it should say the beach fixes everything so there's no room for me to put any yes in there so I'm like forget it I'm just gonna go over it with blue paint and it's just gonna say the beach I thought about going in with my Cricut and making a new word. And then I was like, you're not even gonna really be able to see it because it's gonna be covered by the tear tray. So it's just gonna say the beach. So I went in with some ivory chalk paint to kind of distress that. And then I go all over and distress all of the blue with the ivory chalk paint from Waverly and kind of give it like a beachy coastal feel I was kind of over this project by this point. <laughs> Once I saw the glaring typo on there, I can't believe I didn't notice that. Then I go in with some of this royal blue and paint that little starfish on the front, royal blue to kind of match what the beachy sign says at the top. And I go in and distress that sign at the top a little bit as well. 
And then I wanna give a little bit of detail to that starfish. So I'm just using the end of a paintbrush and some of that ivory paint to give it some like white polka dots, kind of matching the starfish on the top of the sign. And then I am going to clean it up, make sure it is all dry with my heat gun. And it's done, thank goodness. Okay, this project's so easy. I got this little bucket from the Dollar Tree and I go to the beach all the time. So I just filled it with shells that I found at the beach the other day. And that's it, <laughs> easy peasy. Okay, next project. I bought this dolphin toy from the Dollar Tree and I thought I would just give it a color of paint all over. So I'm going in with this cornflower blue again and I'm kind of just going all over. So the top of the dolphin is really dark and the bottom is white. So the bottom paints really nice and solid with one coat. The top is like a lot harder to cover. So I go over that and then I give it a dry with my heat gun and I kind of want it to be all one color. I don't really want it to look like a toy, a plastic toy. I want it to look more like, you know, like a sculpture or a ceramic. So I go back in with more paint and give it a good go over. Now the navy color that was on top is kind of showing through and I kind of actually like it because it kind of looks like wood. So if I would have kept going with more and more coats, um, I probably could have got it to a solid blue color, but I kind of liked um, the dark navy like coming through. I kind of painted all in the same direction. And so all of the stroke marks are in the same direction and it kind of looks like wood. I don't know if you can see that but it looked pretty cool. So I'm just going over it with my heat gun, making sure it gets good and dry so that I can go ahead and paint his tail. I got a dolphin and a shark. I kind of decided that both would probably be too much. So I chose the dolphin for this project. And I did laugh that I bought myself toys because you know my son has probably had a million of these toys. <laughs> so I go over the top and the bottom with that blue paint and the bottom you know paints right away covers right away but the top does require a couple coats even to, to give it that weathered look where it looks like wood in the end it does kind of look like it is like a dolphin carved out of wood and painted blue which I kind of liked so I'm giving it a good dry, one more coat on the tail to get it all uniform. And we should be done with this project. I wanna make sure that all the paint's dry. I don't wanna mess it up. He's done and he turned out really cute. Okay. So I got these two houses at the Dollar Tree and I don't like the little stickers on them because they have glitter on them. So I'm trying to get this glitter sand dollar off of this white house. Now, I liked this sign, it's a beach thing, but like when I took the sticker off, it left tons of residue. So I'm trying to scrape it off, it's not really coming off. So I decide to try um, some of those goo gone, goo gone to get rid of it, but that was a huge mistake because it like, you can see it's taken like all the finish off and then I try to wipe it off and then it starts taking the letters off of the front of the sign. And then I was just like, okay, yeah, I don't want to repaint this sign right now. <laughs> Not after the napkin box. So see, as you can see, the word it's is now disappearing and it kind of did a number on it. 
So note to self, do not use Goo Gone on these. They can't handle it. <laughs> so I decide to scrap the White House. I actually have two of the blue ones that say on beach time. And they are going to be back to back on my tear tray. So it's okay if they're the same sign. So that's what I end up doing. And I am just using these little starfish off of these clothespins that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, I can't remember. I think there were six in a package. And very carefully, I'm using my Cricut spatula to separate them without breaking them. And you have to be very gentle with this. I thought about just attaching it with the clothespin, but I really didn't need the functionality of the clothespin on there. So I was able to get both off. And these stickers come off easily. Yay! <laughs> so I don't have to worry about messing it up. All right, so basically the only thing I'm going to have to do on this project is attach those little wooden starfish to the top to replace the ones that were there. I'm just not a fan of the glitter on stuff. And I think these look way more coastal and less tacky. And they're done. Okay, so I wanted to do a would-be garland for um, the tear tray. And so I want to color some of the wood beads. So I got these wood beads on Amazon. I can drop the link below. They come in three different sizes. And so I'm using the um, medium size and I want to make them this pretty turquoise color. And this is a trick that I've heard. You I just put some water in the bowl and then I mixed the paint with it. And I'm just kind of swirling the balls around in the paint until they get a good coverage. I kept putting more and more in there thinking I'm gonna need that many, but I think I painted too many. But it turned out pretty good. I mean, it's not gonna give you a, like a perfect coat of paint, but with the coastal farmhouse look, you know, I, I kind of want it to look weathered and so it works. So then I go in, I put out a paper towel. I'm searching for my tweezers. And I just kind of go in and grab my blue beads and lay them out on the paper towel so they can start drying. And I've made um, one of these um, wood bead garlands before for my Easter tray and then I used it for my spring tear tray the other day and it turned out really good. On that one, I used the big white pearls from the Dollar Tree this one I want it to look more like raw wood and turquoise. And then I'm even gonna use that adorable little sand dollar over there for one of the ends of it. And I got that at the Dollar Tree. Um, they came in a pack of three for a dollar with their new coastal stuff. So I'm just gonna take my twine from the Dollar Tree and I am going to tie it through the sand dollar and what I do is I just tie it, tie it, tie it over and over until it kind of gives like a braided look at the end. And then I have this giant needle that I am using just to thread the beads on. You kind of want to tuck the extra string into the first bead so it looks nice and professional at the end. And I just have this needle left over from something. I love it. I know you can also like take tape to the end of your twine and kind of try to make a needle. You just need something to make it easier to thread these. So you can do any kind of pattern that you wanna do. I chose to mix all three colors together and kind of alternate in a little pattern. And I probably should have waited for those painted beads to get a little bit more dry because I did get some paint on some stuff. But it's okay. I didn't really want them to look perfect. So I tied off the end and then I am going to go in with my twine. Um, there I am sanding off the paint that I got on some of the wood ones. pretty much get it cleaned up. But next I'm gonna go in and make a tassel for the end. 
And you do that with twine and you just wrap it around your hand over and over and over until you get like about the size that you're looking for. And there is a trick to tie this off, but I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> so I'm just gathering the top and then I'm just going to cut out another piece of twine and go around to make the little loop on the top and tie that off. And then I'm going to go in and cut the bottom and make the tassel. And I know there is, there is a trick that I've used on it before. I need to probably try to find that tutorial. So I'm just putting my needle back on and I'm stringing it through my tassel. I want to get it all the way through and then I am just going to tie that off and my wood bead garland with my sand dollar on there is complete and I think it turned out really cute. What do you think? I'm just tucking the excess twine up into that last bead kind of like I did on the first one. So nothing is hanging out and giving it a quick sand there at the end and it's done. And it's time to style my tear tray. So here is my napkin holder that I made and I'm still working on those Easter napkins. I think I bought way too many. <laughs> and that is going to go on the bottom of my tear tray. This is a pretty big tear tray. I love it. And then I got this mermaid tail at the Dollar Tree and I don't have to do anything to it. It's the color I like and it's perfect. I got this little Adirondack chair at the Target Dollar Spot the other day. It held a ketchup and a mustard bottle and I chose it because I thought it would be really good to hold my salt and pepper shakers and they fit in there perfectly. Isn't that cute? And then I got this blue whale at the Dollar Tree with our new coastal decor. And that pretty much fills in the first row. So the second row, we're gonna make the shell that we made. I think that turned out really good. I got this jute ball at the Dollar Tree the other day with their beach decor. And I'm just gonna kind of lay that in there and then kind of sit the anchor that we made are painted on top. They look kind of cool together like that. And then I'm going to go in with our bucket from the Dollar Tree that all we did was fill it with shells from the beach. And then I want to go in with the beaded garland that we made. And I just snake it around on the second shelf. until I get it how I like it. I love the wooden bead garlands. I think they turn out so nicely. I wish we could get the wooden beads at Dollar Tree or Dollar Spot, but so far I haven't found them. I'm sure they're coming. <laughs> and then it's time for the top shelf. What I did is I put a strip of double stick tape on the back of both of my houses to stick to the center pole. Because this is on my kitchen table, it does get moved a lot. Like if somebody wants to use the table for something and we move the whole thing out of the way, I don't want everything falling over. And those would be kind of top heavy and would definitely fall over. So I am just using the double stick tape to put them back to back on the top of the tear tray. And I just have a few more items left to finish the display. I'm <laughs> moving it up so you can see. And I have the this little air plant that I got at Dollar Tree. It has a little clip on it, but I'm just gonna leave the clip on there. I'm just gonna kind of tuck it. And on this side, and then here's our dolphin that we painted. Gonna kind of have him swimming out. 
And this is one of the little succulents in sand that is with their coastal decor at the Dollar Tree. And I have two different ones. I'm gonna do one on each side. And then I am just gonna go in with the starfish from the Dollar Tree. You get three for a dollar with their coastal decor. And just kind of sit that in on the top. And I think we're done with the coastal tiered tray using only Dollar Tree and Dollar Spot items. I think we pulled it off. Making sure like all the areas are filled in. And here's the final result. I think it turned out so cute. There's so many different colors of blue and so many textures. And everything looks so beachy. And it doesn't look cheap. It doesn't look like something from the Dollar Tree for sure. The napkin holder turned out pretty good. I love that mermaid tail. So cute. And let me go around to the other side to show you. We got our shells and our tin. We have our little whale down here. And I love that Adirondack chair to hold my salt and pepper shakers. That turned out perfect. And I got that at the Target Dollar Spot for $5. And our jute ball, our anchor, our wood beads. And this is the other side with the other blue on beach 